Hello my friends, Boomy here once again with another video for you, my World of Warcraft gaming brothers and sisters. How's everyone doing today? If you're first time on the channel, of course, make sure you hit the like button and subscribe and become part of the family here. My friends, there has been a kerfuffle within the World of Warcraft community. Now we get this a lot in the gaming industry, especially these days. When it comes to the price tag, well hell, we get a shock a sticker shock whenever we go shopping or anything yay thanks world but especially in this game blizzcon came and it went we learned a lot of great and amazing information and then the pre-sales went live which they tend to do always right you gotta recoup some of the money spent investing into creating the great amazing new expansions all three that they have in store for us so i get that but then people saw the price tag for said uh, expansion for the war within. And people kind of like, some of them lost their poo. They lost it. They, they, they did. Fire erupted everywhere. It was great. It was like uh, Goldshire when during the All Hallows Eve event. And, the, and Headless Horseman is just there burning all things in the world. And I saw the price tag and I almost did it. I almost popped on it. But I'm like, ugh. 90 bucks for the epic edition oh i don't know i mean it comes with a lot of cool goodies but 90 dollars that's a bit much so everyone's like oh my it's too much blah 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 but then i sat down and went wait let me do the math right quick now let me preface this by saying you do what you're gonna do your money is your money i will never tell you how to spend your money Although, if you want to donate to me, party on. It's down in the information below. Outside of that, I will never tell you guys what to do with your money. It's all you. But I decided to take a deeper look and see what the costs were with everything that comes with the Epic Edition. So let's take a look at it and see if is this really the biggest ripoff in the world? Well, let's take a look. So what all are you going to get with this thing right here? So we're going to get the pre-purchase of World of Warcraft War Within. Obviously, we're going to get Dragonflight. Already got it. Most of you already do. But party on. If you don't, you're going to get it anyways. Beta access to World of Warcraft. We already talked about that. Early access, three days. I think that's cool. 30 days of game time. Party on. Enhanced level character boost. Who doesn't love that? Algarian storm ride mount with a dynamic flying and access to special race courses. Ooh, that's sexy. Storm riders attire upgrade version. So we get transmog with this party on loving it squally pet sandbox storm griffin toy and the deep wellers earth and hearthstone plus you get 1000 traders tender now people were going oh my god this is so expensive but let's take a look at it right let's just take a look at what these things cost now the base game itself it's 50 bucks, okay? Everyone, get your calculators out. It's $50. It's right here. It is what it is. Now, our mounts, as we will see, our mounts here, 25 bucks. That's $75 right there. And game time, what? That's 15 bucks a month. So right there is $90. Right there is the kit and caboodle. Everything else now is extra. Now, let's add up and see what we're going to get. So we got a pet. We're going to go to pets. Let's go to pets. Pets ranging well this one's this one's a little different right you get a couple more things with this pet but let's go to a standard pet that's what we're going to do on this one ten dollars ten bucks right there so we got ten dollars put in the thing now character boost now this is something i was <laughs> i i just about did a did a double take on this one level boost here we go so your level 70 character boost is 60 bucks right there is 70 dollars Although, if I might say $60, holy shit, that is way too expensive. How about 20 bucks or 10 $60? Ew. Now let's do transmogs. What do you got transmogs? So transmogs now are going for about 20 bucks, right there. So you've got about, that's $90. That's 90 bucks. So let's go to toys. What are you going to do with the toy? That's 10 bucks. Your toy is about $10. So that's $100 right now now right there is you have about what just under 200 dollars worth of product in this if we had gone in and just paid for it separately paid for the base paid for the your monthly subscription paid for dragon i didn't even add dragon flight in if you want to go crazy you can say that's what another 50 bucks tatted but we're not going to throw that in there because most people already have dragon flight now no there might be some who don't but let's just say for argument's sake most people have dragon flight right there so 
either way, you're saving money. You you really are in this. And I did not put into the in, into the calculations of effects because what are the what's the price of that? I didn't find it on the store. Not at all. Trader's tender. I'm not entirely sure. What is it like? A dollar per this, that, or the other thing? Was it like a dollar per hundred? Whatever. Let's call it ten bucks for one thousand. Who cares? I'm not even gonna throw it in there because I don't honestly know. But my friends, in the long run, or even in the short run, it's a hundred dollar savings on things that people uh you would be buying individually anyway so this comes with the game when you buy the epic edition now this is not me shilling for you buying the epic edition but i thought it was interesting how people were reacting so i decided to go in and do the math and see what are the actual savings in doing this now whenever you do a bundle package there's going to be savings here and there but what but i thought boomy what's the actual savings to the epic edition for world of warcraft and then i did the math i'm like well actually I'm more convinced now than ever to get this one because this has the more bang for your buck. And just, so, you know, so it's the heroic edition. It's got more bang for your buck right there. And if you can't even, if you can't do that, which is totally fine, just get the, get the regular standard edition. And guess what? You'll be able to add the other ones on later on for cheaper or just wait a couple months and everything will be like 25 to 50% off. So there you go. There's that. But... I just wanted to say, I just wanted to talk to you guys and say, hey, I looked into it, I did, I crunched some of the numbers, and believe me, I hate mathing, I, I do, and came out thinking and realizing, actually, this is not that bad, to be honest. So I know it's a sticker shock for a lot of people, especially these days when everyone's, you know, tightening the belts like crazy to the point where they have no circulation to the nether regions, but I get that. And now it also opens up another question, right? World of Warcraft has in the past usually given us an expansion every two years. That's typically the average life cycle of an expansion is two years and we get another one. But as they've been talking about wanting to do more like an MCU model uh, with World of Warcraft and wanting to get expansions out faster, so you're probably looking at expansions coming out about every year now. So then one might argue, well... A 90 bucks every year at the same time look at the crap we buy that we don't actually need in life maybe we don't need the starbucks thing because that's gotten too fracking expensive these days holy snickerdoodles but you know it it, it does cause questions like every year do we pay 90 dollars? i mean i pay more than that a month for electricity so it is what it is i don't know but like i said at the end of the day it is your money. You do with it as you please. I've always said this, even when I was doing podcasting years ago for World of Warcraft. It's your $15 a month. You do with it as you please. Should they change some things around? I don't know. Maybe. But right now, this is where I'm sitting or standing or whatever or laying down. Who knows where I am at this point. This is where I stand with this. Now, if you found, um, if you took umbrage with some of this, if you're like, uh, Boomy, you totally didn't put this type of accounting into this, let me know. I'm, I have no issue going, guys, I was totally wrong. However, I don't think I am on this one. I think it's a personal choice for everyone. There's always going to be basement dwellers out there, no matter what, who just want everything for free. Well, guess what? We're not, I'm not a communist. I never will be a communist. And that's just not how real life works. Because if you want to play World of Warcraft and have an actual game, they need Blizzard needs to make money to pay their people to make the game that we all love and enjoy. Are there should there be microtransactions? You know what? We're gonna hold off. That's gonna be a completely different video. We're not gonna go down that rabbit hole just yet. Anyways, put your comments in the comment section below. Let's keep the conversation going on down there. What are your thoughts on all this? Are you gonna get the epic condition? Have you already gotten the epic condition? What are your thoughts? I want to know. I love hearing from you guys. You guys are amazing. Make sure you hit the like button. The more likes we get, the more the algorithm likes us. And obviously, we want it to like us. And make sure you hit the subscribe button. Come part of the family here at Boomin Nation to Freak Show YouTube, the black sheep of gaming. And remember, my friends, remember to be kind. It's about community. And don't forget to spay and neuter your, I don't know, night elves. I don't know. Do something about that. Because, you know, they do they procreate a lot? I don't know. That's now I'm just, that's what I'm going to be thinking about for a while. Anyways, my friends. I love you. You guys are amazing. We'll see you later. Good day.